Hello everyone and welcome back to another Hero Spotlight. Today I'll be introducing Darcy, the Archmagus. Darcy is a mage with high burst damage and immunity. With his first ability, he can go immune and deal high magical damage from a long range. Also with his ultimate, he can teleport enemies to their old position. Aside from his amazing abilities, he's also the Archmage of Athenor and a member of the Magistry Council. Let's learn about the abilities of this powerful magician. Starting with his passive, Dimensional Force. Every time Darcy's ability or normal attacks hit a target, he gains dimensional energy. When the energy is full, he enters another dimension for 8 seconds, restoring 20% of his mana and resetting his cooldowns of his first two abilities immediately. He also increases his movement speed by 20% and he enhances his first two abilities while in another dimension. The dimensional energy decreases rapidly whenever you exit combat, so you always need to be attacking if you don't want to lose your energy. Time for his first ability, Dimensional Walk. Darcy enters a different dimension, making himself immune and unable to be targeted for one second. He increases his movement speed by 20% and takes significantly less damage while in different dimension. After using this ability, his next normal attack in the next 5 seconds will be enhanced. He will have longer range and deal additional magic damage while reducing the movement speed of the target by 40%. If he attacks while in a different dimension, the effect will be cancelled immediately. When his dimensional energy is full, this ability will be enhanced, increasing his movement speed by 40% while restoring some of his lost HP. Moving towards his second ability, Dimensional Cube. Darcy summons a dimensional cube at the target area and after 1.25 seconds the cube explodes and deals magic damage to the enemies within range. When the ability is enhanced, its range will be increased and Darcy will get 10 energy for each enemy hit. Now it's time for his ultimate, Dimensional Portal. Darcy opens a portal to another dimension dealing magic damage to the enemies within range and marking their location. After 2 seconds, the marked targets will teleport back to their location and be stunned for a short time. If he hits at least one enemy with the ultimate, he can teleport himself to the gate within the next 6 seconds. When he teleports, he will deal magic damage within the area. The cooldown of Dimensional Gate immediately resets after using this ability. Here are some tips that will help you when you play as Darcy. First of all, upgrade your first ability to max level to have more survivability. Remember, your first ability, Dimensional Walk, it's your only option to save yourself from trouble as well as dealing massive damage from a long range. Having your passive up is a great opportunity as it restores some of your mana and enhances your first two abilities. It's going to help you more than you think when you suddenly meet an enemy. But remember, you can only choose one enhanced ability, so decide what to do accordingly to the situation you're in. Choosing the wrong one may lead you to die. About your second ability, you know it's hard to hit. Since it explodes 1.25 seconds after casting, you need to land it in the perfect position, so you should try to predict your enemy's next move to catch them and deal massive damage, or maybe to even finish them off. Your second ability is also a perfect ability to clear waves, as it's an AoE ability with high damage. Darcy's most basic combo is using his ultimate to catch the enemies and chaining it with your second ability, Dimensional Cube. You'll have dealt massive damage already and if you want to, you can chain it with your first ability to slow the enemy down with low HP. This is it for this Dimensional Traversing Hero Spotlight. Thank you all for watching. If you have any feedback about the spotlight, feel free to comment below. See you next time.